Future soilless farming experts, welcome to a groundbreaking journey into the world of cultivation without soil. So here we will together embark on a tour of fascinating realm of soilless farming with our comprehensive training program on hydroponics. In this innovative course, we will delve deep into the art and science of cultivating crops without traditional soil, harnessing the concept of water-based nutrient solutions. We will explore cutting edge techniques, sustainable practices, and the transformative potential of hydroponics in revolutionizing modern agriculture. Whether you are a seasoned farmer or a budding enthusiast, Join us in unraveling the secrets of growing bountiful harvest in the absence of soil. So let's sow the seeds of knowledge together and I promise by the end of this course or training, you will not only understand the science behind the soilless farming, but also be equipped with the skills to cultivate a sustainable and bountiful future. So let's embark on this journey to enhance our farming skills and cultivate a brighter and more proficient future. So let's start the course here. Beyond the earth, the rise of soilless agriculture. We will not reinvent anything here. We will follow the same signs of growing crops in soilless media. So to get new ideas, we must open the old book. In fact, the book is there and it was written over 12,000 years ago by our ancestors. Modern science is only 200 years old with a lot of flaws and a long way to go. Whereas Mother Nature exists close to 3 billion years ago. Mother Nature has been iterating for billions of years and evolved to sustain the ecosystem seamlessly. Not like human way of doing only a bit and not doing with respect to the ecosystem. Hence, we with modern tools available in this accelerated technology era can really make a massive difference in creating and evolving an efficient and optimum ecosystem aligned with thought process of our mother nature. Today, we really understand circular economy more than before. As we know, how we devastated mother nature in just 200 years of industrial revolution and caused massive climate change. And there is a point that has to be noted. That is, plants are not the strongest of species that survive, nor the most intelligent like humans, but are the most responsive to change the human world. So let's move forward now. Here we will have an overview of understanding agriculture. Agriculture was invented by humans around 12,000 years ago and we were equipped with surplus and abundance until massive industrial revolution occurred 200 years back. That's when we started synthesizing everything from food to chemicals and kept on resolving food scarcity issues by exploiting natural resources with heavy usage of pesticides, fungicides and to satisfy the needs of massive explosion in population rise from 1 billion in 1800 to 8 plus billion in 2023. But in this time span, we have polluted everything in the last 200 years from fertile land to water to climate, everything. For the next two decades, we are going to have a rise of 2 billion population in the world, reaching to 10 billion by 2050. We neither have fresh water nor fertile land to do agriculture. Hence, we need to innovate this with least resources and cannot repeat the ignorant way of doing it with pesticides, fungicides, or insecticides and also cannot irrigate with already heavily contaminated water with heavy metals and other pollutants whether organic or inorganic. This has lead to various health issues in humans in today's scenario. 
Now we'll have the information about the present scenario. Rise in population and changes in climatic conditions has led to evolution in agriculture causing an adverse impact on the essential resources that facilitate farming. A major part of soil depletion is due to the land's overuse and the excess use of fertilizers and pesticides. We can consider that agriculture is responsible for 50 to 60 percent of the soil degradation in our country and local farmers estimate that 40 percent of farming lands are already degrading leading to high ph which prevents plants from taking nutrition from the soil water overuse has caused water shortage that often occurs in areas of agriculture and harms the environment in several ways including increased salinity nutrient pollution because of high usage of urea pesticides and fungicides and this has caused degradation and loss of floodplains and wetlands now what is the future of this agriculture the future of agriculture is soil less substrate based cultivation under totally controlled environment for agriculture let's move forward now why we need soilless farming as our mother nature is capable enough to feed us why we even need this kind of farming everybody must be having this kind of question in their mind so here are the facts and some of my thought process uh, i belong to a farmer family and we have a good amount of farming land and that to a very good fertile land and we have spent a good amount of time on farms working with hybrid natural and tissue culture crops organic crops and with almost all possible techniques available in irrigation plantation harvest anything you talk about and we have practiced everything but in the, all those years we realized mother nature is capable enough to feed us but only for now or i would say only for few years and the amount of food that we are growing right now is not enough when we have a look at the future prospect. So just to make this food available for everyone, we have to adapt this style of farming. So let's move forward now. Soilless farming, that is hydroponics. Everybody call it hydroponics. So the word hydroponics has its derivation from combining two Greek words. One is hydro and ponos, meaning hydro means water and ponos means labor. So soilless farming is defined as a method of growing plants in water and soilless media rather than in soil. While this process may seem arbitrary, the growing of plants in nutrient rich water has been practiced for centuries. But this has come into picture since a few decades only. Plants grown in soil need a lot of room to spread out as the roots reach out as far as possible into the soil to capture as much as water and nutrients as possible. Soil holds water and nutrients for only few minutes or I would say few hours before it is filtered down to the water table or get soaked by other plants nearby. That makes it nearly impossible to control exactly how much water each of our plants receive or which nutrients they benefit from in the process. Soilless farming addresses this issue or problem by eliminating soil and providing nutrient rich water to plants through efficient and modern system. This helps save up to 90% of water and nutrients. Moreover, since the roots are not as spread out, plants can be grown closer to each other, thus increasing the productivity of the land by installing large quantity in small area. By growing in a controlled, soilless free environment, growers can effectively stop most diseases or pests in their tracks before they spread to entire harvest and can also reduce the likelihood of passing on diseases or infestations to next year's crop. This is 
the most important benefit here. Let's move forward. Hydroponic farming is being done as a solution to our planet's growing food shortage problem. Today, our planet has around 8 billion inhabitants. By 2050, the number is predicted to grow to close to 10 billion people. One argument in favor of developing this technique is that there are currently 700 million individuals who suffer from undernourishment, although this number is rapidly decreasing. The fear is that there will not be enough land by 2050 to feed an additional 2 billion people, especially given the fact that most of this population growth will occur in Asia and Africa, which are struggling with the amount of cultivating land they have. So can current agriculture sustain our future? I would say the answer is no. Can current pricing of agriculture sustain the economy? I would again say the answer is no. Education about this at a mass level and adaptability becomes urgent now. Any stream can adapt to the stream seamlessly and our mission is to spread this knowledge across the entire community. And finally, we plan to turn towards hydroponic farming, low priced, good quality food at mass production. So let's understand the science behind this farming now. 